What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, The Ada Life. And today me and Braxton are gonna review the Alex Smart Sock and Baby Monitor. I believe we have the newest version, which is the Smart Sock 3, and it's a little pricey, so I hope this video helps you determine whether it's worth the investment. So before we dive into this review, I do wanna say that the sock and monitor was something that we did a little bit of research on beforehand and added it to our baby registry list, and someone was gracious enough to purchase it for us. So let's get into the details. First, the Outlet Sock 3 comes with two different sizes. First, a left and right sock for newborns up to 12 pounds, and then a left and right sock for up to 30 pounds, which we do appreciate because it gives us the opportunity to wash the sock that he's not using at the time, as well as alternate which foot we're putting the sock on so it's not always strapped to the same foot. Which brings me to design. Once we figured out how to put the sock on, it's actually pretty simple. And we appreciate the Velcro straps that come with it, which allow you to customize the fit exactly to your baby's size. That way you don't have it too tight or too loose. Of course, too loose, you risk it falling off or getting out of position. And then sometimes the app will tell you that it can't calculate the readings properly because it may not be on properly or may have fallen off or just because he's wiggling, it'll tell you that. But when you open the app on your phone, it would also tell you how to adjust that as well. So in the package, you get the four socks, the sensor that you put in the sock that you're using at the time. You'll get the charging dock as well as the charging cable. If you are the duo system, you'll get the two-way video monitor camera as well, as well as its power adapter. We keep the charging dock in the same room as his sock. That way we ensure he's close enough to pick up the readings and get good readings. And it's never really had any issues. The only problem we've had is when we've taken him when we've taken him too far away from that charging dock with the sock on. So I've taken him downstairs to play or he's in the kitchen or something like that. And it'll chime in and tell us, hey, you're too far away to pick up the readings. And it does that by playing a little tune on the charging station like a lullaby. as well as your phone app that'll play a lullaby as well. Now the charging dock itself provides the same information that your phone app would, and it does it by using the LED ring on the charging dock. So the white ring on it means that the charging, that the sock is charging. The yellow means that the sock isn't properly on or maybe has been knocked loose. The blue light indicates its connection is lost and trying to reconnect. The red means something is out of the ordinary and you should go check on your baby, either the oxygen uh, or heart rate is outside of the normal range. And last is the green, which means it's connected, charged, everything is looking normal. So we almost exclusively use the app on our phone for this information. Um, we don't really uh, use the charging LED colors on the ring, but it gives us this information a little bit more precise. It tells us almost the exact oxygen levels he's at, as well as what his heart rate is around. So the smart sock and charging dot comes by itself or as a duo system which we got the duo system, which also comes with the two-way baby monitor, which we like because the monitor actually has very good video quality and you can hear the audio on it as well. And they call it two-way because we're actually able to talk back into his room through the phone if we wanted to, but we haven't used that feature yet. So when Braxton was super new to us and we first brought him home, we would have the app up on both of our phones. We'd be in bed with both of our phones out looking at him on the monitor, both looking at the same thing on the phone. Now that he's grown and we a little more confident and um, we don't check on him as often, uh, we do check on it randomly through the phone app while we're in bed. And if there's any tunes, we can silence them temporarily. Like say he wiggles the sensor loose, we can just use our phone and silence it. That way it doesn't keep playing the tune over and over on the charging dock, which is in his room and it doesn't wake him up. I think the only time that we've had a red alert was that when, was when he was really new. And I think it was over the night and his oxygen might have dipped a little too much. So it gave us that, you'll definitely know what the red alert sound is when you get it. And it'll chime on your phone and the dock and everything was okay. And we actually haven't had any issues since then. So the main reason we use it now is basically just for during the night, um, just to check on his heart rate and oxygen levels. And we use the monitor just to look in without having to enter his room and make sure his positioning in the crib is okay. Um, the monitor actually also shows the temperature in the room, so I definitely think that's cool too. It gives us an overall picture of his environment. Now we know the smart sock isn't considered a medical device and we use it more as just a supplemental tool for peace of mind. Knowing that the readings aren't exactly accurate, but that they do provide a good range of parameters of what he's in. So we use it for that. We also know the monitor isn't considered a medical device either, but it just gives us the ability to check in on him, like I said before, without having to enter and keep 
peeping in the room and making noise like that. So my final thoughts, this isn't something that is needed, but if you're like us and you're new parents or you have a little anxiety or you just want that added sense of, added sense of comfort, then this product might be for you. For me, I'm also a tech guy, so I like that part of it too. We were looking for a baby monitor, but this also came with the sock that gave us that extra bit of information we were looking for. The app is easy to use. The video and audio quality of the monitor, I feel are great. The app has actually never crashed on us. And another thing, the app in the app, you can see his quality of sleep. So I think that's another thing that's cool too. The price is really the only con I have being that it is a couple hundred dollars for the kit, the duo, the monitor and the sock. So luckily, like I said, fortunate, we were able to get it on the baby registry. So we didn't have to pay for that. But I can attest that he's seven months old and we use it probably pretty much every single night. I don't think we go without using it at night. So we're definitely getting our money's worth out of it. So that's my final review. And I hope anyone that is looking into this product and watched this video found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below. Or if you have any questions, comment down below. And I guess we'll catch you in the next one. It's nap time, right?